All right. Well, thank you so much, Jack Dwyer, for being a part of Valley Advocate Sessions. We're, we're happy to have you here today. Thank you for having uh, me. How about another round of applause for Jack? Woo! Uh, what's really interesting about your music is there's so many different uh, components to it in terms of the influences. Um, where, what are your influences uh, kind of in a broad sense? In a broad sense, I, I, I draw my influences from everywhere, um, whether it be a book or a movie, a painting. You know, something inspires you, you take a piece of that away with you. And uh, how did you get started uh, making music, writing your own stuff? I, um, I traded a guitar for a bar sign. <laughs> Um, my friend was going to uh, Holy Cross and he wanted my bar sign and so he traded me a classical guitar for that <laughs> and he said um, he said give me the guitar back when I give you the sign back and he never gave me the sign back and so I figured I'd learn for a lease or something like that <laughs> and, uh, who are some of your artists uh, some of the artists that you really love Mm. Uh, that you, you kind of draw uh, inspiration from? Um, well, one artist that stands out, when I saw reruns of Saturday Night Live from the 70s and I saw Leon Redbone, I was just like, what the heck is this, you know? And so he's been a, one of my major influences. And I just love the old songs that he does because there's something special about those old Ten Pan Alley songs. And I also am a big fan of the ragtime blues guitarist of the 20s and 30s. Um, I noticed that you played a Louis Armstrong cover. Is, uh, is he a big influence as well? Actually, that was more of a Larry Tully cover. Um, Larry Tully is a barbershop quartet singer and also a friend of mine and he gave me a CD with that on it and I had to had to do it it's such a one well written song uh, do you have any uh, performances shows coming up or is there any place where people can see you play kind of regularly I will be in my bedroom on a nightly basis <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I I first met you uh, at uh, uh, the Yellow Sofa. Open Actually, mic. it was the Gaslight yeah. Gallery. Oh, that's right. In it was. Westfield. Yeah. It was years ago. But um, did uh, 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 are there any other open mics that you play regularly or try to play out? Um, I don't try to play them. I like to go there for the folks there. There's great communities at these events, and um, so I don't often play at Luthiers, but I always go there. Um, and same with the Yellow Sofa in South Hadley. I just like hanging out with the folks there. Do you have any uh, plans on the horizon as far as like maybe recording or getting a band together? Well, usually I write an album and then I don't know how to go about recording it so I write another album <laughs> and that goes on. Um, but the last few songs that I've written, I think for myself I would like to have some sort of recording of them um, just so I can almost like have a journal of what I was writing that year so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that now uh, what, what are some of the common uh, themes or just uh, issues that you really like to talk about in your songs or things that keep coming back up um, I don't know my songs are about um, you know really whatever process I'm going through at the time I'm trying to get through it, piece through it, and that's what my songs are about. Um, what's going on in my head, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I find it's a nice way to see things from a clearer perspective. So do, do you believe in like, like the idea that music can be sort of like a, a form of therapy for yourself um, when you're writing songs? Certainly, certainly a form of therapy, um, but more so um, a way to communicate with myself. And th the reason that I write songs is to communicate and to maybe 
you know, make a connection with someone, even if that someone is myself. Um, and so that's why I ultimately got into writing, is because I wanted to be able to, you know, connect better. All right, well, uh, thanks so much for your uh, time here, uh, Jack. Uh, we're, it was a pleasure to have you for Sessions. Thank Woo! you so much. Thanks, thanks, thanks everybody.